You try to type some text on your keyboard, but instead, whenever you press a button, Windows starts to open and close Windows, open programs, all on its own. The reason for this is Windows has a lot of hotkeys that allow you to access certain features quickly without using the mouse. And most of them involve some kind of a special key to activate, for example, the Windows key. And the reason those shortcuts are activated even though you don't press the Windows key is that the Windows button is stuck. To find out which key is stuck, you may open the on-screen keyboard in Windows and you will see which button is pressed even though it is not pressed on the physical keyboard. In most cases, this is the Windows key. There are several reasons why this happens. First of all, Windows have an accessibility feature which is called Sticky Keys that does exactly this. If you have it activated, disable Sticky Keys. Some software like Virtual Machines, for example VirtualBox, can lead to this situation if you press the key in the Virtual Machine and then switch back to your host machine. Sometimes when you, for example, play games and Alt-Tab from games to desktop and back, the Windows key may get stuck. Some Windows updates introduce strange features, and after one of the Windows 10 updates, for example, you could press Alt-Win to make Windows key permanently pressed. And also most gaming keyboards, especially macro keyboards, have different options to disable Windows key or to lock it in place. So to fix this issue, in most cases it is enough to just press Windows key again, and it will get unstuck. In some cases you have to reboot the PC or unplug and replug your keyboard back to USB port. For those gaming keyboards you will have to actually read the manual to see which hotkey combination enables and disables this Windows key lock feature. If it's that Windows update, you will have to press Alt-Win to disable the sticky Windows key. If nothing helps and the Windows key is still stuck, this is probably a hardware error. So you will either have to fix your keyboard, if it's possible and feasible, or just replace the keyboard altogether. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.